we're going to explain how to reset a VSOL ult. There are several ways to reset a VSOL ult, depending on the specific model and what kind of reset you need. We'll cover the most common methods. 1. The first method involves a physical reset button. Many VSL alt units have a small recessed reset button, usually located on the front or back panel. You might need a pin or a small paper clip to press it. Before you do anything, make sure the OLT is powered on. Locate the reset button, then press and hold it for a specified amount of time. This is usually between 10 and 30 seconds. The exact time is often found in the device's manual. While holding the button, the OLT might power cycle or display some lights indicating the reset process. Release the button after the specified time. The OLT should reboot and then return to its factory default settings. 2. A second method involves using the OLT's web interface. This requires you to have access to the OLT's management IP address and login credentials. Once logged in, navigate through the web interface's menus to find a factory reset or default settings option. This is usually found under a section labeled System, Administration, or Maintenance. There will be a warning before you proceed. Carefully review this warning as a factory reset will erase all configurations. Click the reset button and the OLT will begin the reset process, requiring a reboot after completion. 3. For more advanced resets or troubleshooting, you might need to use a command line interface, CLI. This involves connecting to the OLT using Telnet or SSH, and then executing specific commands to perform a factory reset. The precise commands vary greatly depending on the specific VSL alt model and its operating system. Consult your OLT's manual for the correct command. This method is generally only recommended for experienced users. Or, remember, always refer to your VSOL alt's official documentation for detailed instructions and specific procedures, as the methods and steps might differ slightly based on your OLT's model and firmware version. Incorrectly resetting your OLT can lead to network disruptions. If you're uncomfortable performing these actions yourself, contact a qualified technician. Always back up your OLT's configuration before performing a reset if possible, to make restoring your settings easier. After the reset, you'll need to reconfigure the OLT to match your network requirements. This includes setting up network parameters, security credentials, and any other necessary configurations.